Hey guys, so I have a couple different questions for you. The first is, what's the difference between spiritual wisdom and earthly wisdom? The second is, what's the difference between knowledge and wisdom? How I like to think of it is that knowledge is information and wisdom is knowing what to do with it. One of the greatest gifts that the Lord gives us freely is spiritual wisdom. To live out the life of a disciple the way we read about in scriptures, it's virtually impossible without the help of the Spirit. When Jesus died and rose again, he promised that he would send a helper, the Holy Spirit, who would teach us all things and help us remember what Jesus did for us. Paul talks about this gift of spiritual wisdom in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Verses 6 through 10 say, Yet among the mature we do impart wisdom, although it is not a wisdom of this age or of the rulers of this age who are doomed to pass away, but we impart a secret and hidden wisdom of God, which God decreed before the ages of our glory. None of the rulers of this age understood this. For if they had, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the heart of man imagined, what God has prepared for those who love him. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything, even the depths of God. One of my favorite verses is verse 9. Pretty much it's saying that no one can comprehend, not even in their wildest dreams, what God has prepared for those who love him. So imagine a life unreserved and completely sold out to God, to be fueled by a passion and love for Jesus, to be unconcerned about what people will think or say, but to freely serve him with everything you have. This is the kind of love that our Lord cherishes. This is the kind of servant that he loves to use in profound ways. So what does that look like? Who has ever shown this kind of love and received this kind of wisdom? I remember being really small, like five or six, and being totally infatuated by the life of Solomon, King David's son. He's known for being one of the richest kings of all time, but what he's most known for is his wisdom. The story of Solomon always stuck with me. In 1 Kings 3.3, it says that Solomon loved the Lord and was walking in his ways. It goes on to say that because of his love, the Lord appeared to him and said, Ask what I shall give you. Solomon could have asked for anything. Wealth, riches, power, a long life. And instead, he asked for wisdom. He wanted an understanding mind to govern his people and to discern between good and evil. This pleased the Lord so much that he blessed Solomon with godly wisdom and a discerning mind. Verse 12 says that the Lord gave him wisdom that far exceeded anyone. Not only did God bless him with wisdom, but he adorned Solomon's life also with riches and honor so that no other king could compare to him. There's so many things we could take away from these passages, from Solomon's example to Paul's note to the Corinthians. But what I want to ask you is what is holding you back? What's holding you back from experiencing what no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor entered into the heart of man? For some of you, maybe that's what this passage is speaking into, taking that next step to walk boldly in your faith and to experience the wonder-filled life that is promised to all those who surrender to him in love. Maybe for some of you, this speaks to your restless heart and mind. If you find yourself feeling lost, confused, discouraged, or angry. You might be wrestling with not knowing how to navigate drama within a relationship or what school to go to. Or maybe you don't know how to handle the agony of anxiety and depression. This passage tells us that we have a life source that we can tap into at all times. That we can approach the Lord freely and ask for wisdom and he will come through that we, as children of God, are given the mind of Christ, and he will give us the understanding and strength to live out his commands. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters, that you never have to walk this life alone.